Hello and welcome to today's Wards Automotive Fast Chat, sponsored by Ally. My name is Tom Murphy, Managing Editor of Wards Auto, and I will host today's conversation. Joining me from Ally is Aaron Klapaski, Senior Vice President of Auto Sales Alliance at Ally Financial Incorporated. Welcome to you, Aaron. How are you today? Thanks, Tom. I'm great. How are you doing? I'm just great. Thank you. So let's talk about the future of automotive retailing. Overall, how do you see the dealership model evolving in the future? I think dealers are great at evolution. I think they've proven it time and time again. If we go back, you know, just a few years when we were starting to put cars online, people were saying, oh my gosh, what will the dealer do? You know, all of this pricing will be so transparent and they'll go out of business and we won't need dealers, but we do need dealers. And dealers provide a lot of value for the customer and the dealers really prove their adaptability they have all of their inventory online on their own sites and on other sites. And they add value in so many other ways through customer service and through understanding the F&I process and through servicing the vehicle. So we've seen them evolve over and over, you know, especially in just that one instance. So I think what you see today, you know, is that continued evolution. It's not overnight, you know, things have changed, but a great example today is we have the lowest inventory we've had in 36 years, but you see dealers helping customers order cars for the first time in a long time. You see them selling what they've got and selling off the truck. You see them transitioning to used cars for the right consumer. So I think dealers have shown us over and over again that they can evolve and meet the customer's demands. Yep. Yeah, we've certainly seen a lot of, a lot of uh, dealers for are a lot of changes for dealers and uh, there's going to be more to come, I'm sure. Um, relationships between dealers, finance companies, and technology providers have been an important path to success. How do you see these relationships evolving and improving between now and say the middle of the decade? I think that um, sometimes we overthink the, the FinTech, the dealer, the finance company. I think what we need to think about is the consumer and the flexibility for the consumer. We need to listen to the customer and transact the way that they want to transact. And so they have different preferences that we can enable through the dealership, through the finance company, through technology. But what we really need to be listening to is do they want to do their entire transaction from start to finish online? Are they interested in picking up the phone and talking to someone? Do they want to have in-home delivery? Do they want to come to the dealership? Do they want to set an appointment? And so we have the technology and the tools to enable that. And the dealers are using that today. They're using it really well. But I think that the differentiator is about flexibility and really listening to the customers. Yep, the uh, customer gets to uh, set the agenda. Uh, so with, with consumer demands changing, what do you think are some of the things that will distinguish the successful dealer in the future? I think it, it's flexibility and it's really understanding what the customer wants. Is it the vehicle? Is it the transaction? Um, is it the payment? Do they want to lease? Do they want to buy? And so I think the distinguishing factor from my perspective is that flexibility of the dealer and their ability to really listen to the customer and transact in the manner that the customer wants to transact. And I think that that'll make a huge difference for the dealer's that can pay attention and engage with the customer. And, you know, we make assumptions about what the customers want, but we, they really want different things. And so that, that power is in being able to bring that customer with what they want. Looking back, what is the one change in the dealership model that you think had the positive or the greatest positive impact on growing their business? So dealers have really proven that they're flexible and that they can meet the customer where they're at. And they've changed over and over again. And I think crisis can be a catalyst for that change. And so some of the things that we look at, and, and we found lots of workarounds during the pandemic, but some of those are things that customers might, might want options for in the future. So, you know, appointment setting rather than walking in, or the ability to transact and start from the beginning online, and maybe even go all the way through to the end of the transaction online. But I think that the real um, catalyst for change is trying to understand how the environment is changing and how the dealer can meet the customer where they're at. Yes, the dealers have been through a lot the past year. They've certainly shown that they are extremely resilient. I'm afraid that we have run out of time. I'd like to thank Aaron Klapaski for joining our fast chat today. Thank you, Aaron. Thank you for having me, Tom. And thank you, Ally, for sponsoring this series. On behalf of Ford's Automotive, have a productive remainder of the day.